I think the reason why the Ryan hanging is still of interest as the Kelly execution 110 years ago, that both of those executions were highly political. And that is why Ryan has lived for these years and Kelly has lived over a century. Uh, Henry Balty said to Graham Perkin, the editor of The Age, a very fine newspaper man who died well before his time, and Graham Perkin told me of Henry's words, you so-and-so has beat me over Tate, I'll beat you over Ryan. And he who laughs last laughs best. Balty received a big shock when we beat him in the Tate case. We, the Tate um, execution wasn't allowed to proceed and that really infuriated uh, Balty and uh, he was waiting for the next cab off the rank and uh, poor Ryan happened to be the next cab. Sir Henry's round Punchinello face masked his political cunning. Initially thought of as a stopgap leader, he came to dominate the Melbourne establishment by showing the political will to make the hard decisions. In a masterful piece of timing, Sir Henry exploited the approach of the Christmas season, hoping to distract the public from the announcement of Ryan's execution. <laughs> 